So after all the casting calls are over and we have our inventors, the first phase of product development typically is industrial design. So here we are in the design lab with lead industrial designer, Daniel Bazell. What's up, Daniel? Not much. Just I know. doing the job, you know? Doing what you do, right? Yeah. It's been more than a year, yeah. and we filmed, I don't know, dozens and dozens, if not more than 100 hours of just you and your team in design. Yeah. What's been the most memorable thing for you through it all? I mean, you do a ton of work. Oh, I mean, it's, it's all across the board. There, there's moments that just surprise you. Um, of course, all the design phase presentations and communicating the dreams um, of these inventors is important, but there's just been little things. I mean, there's been times where I've just glimpsed at a prototype during the phase and can't, I just can't believe we've gone so far in such mm -hmm. a short amount of time. Right. Or, you know, logging onto a website and realizing, man, it's really done. I mean, it's been yeah. a lot of work. But it's always fun, if mm -hmm. not very anxious, to see because we show the evolution of the products through each phase. Yeah. You're always the first. Yeah. So that's a lot of pressure. The inventors pressure. come in, they're on TV, they don't really, they've never been in that situation before, so they're nervous, but really their baby is in your hands first. And I take care of it. I mean, that's yeah. one thing is, is I wanna make sure that I really put everything into a project. I, I don't, you know, I don't, and the one thing that's important is I make sure that yeah, I treat it like it was my own. And, and I exhaust the idea because of that. I wanna make sure these dreams come true and we do the best we possibly can. So. I know, and it's been really cool watching and, and taping, filming everything that you and your team do to see things come to life. Yeah. And again, we have lots of hours of it, and we only have 14 half-hour episodes yeah. to show the whole evolution. So for the viewers tuning in for this one, what has been one of your favorite or most memorable moments or events <laughs> that might stay on the cutting room floor, kind of a behind-the-scenes thing? I don't know. There, there's always funny <laughs> things. I mean, there's things that are really, there are moments that are just really cool. I mean. One thing that's been really nice, Maria, one of our inventors, she is someone I always do a good job for and exhaust the idea for because she really cares about us. She see, she doesn't see Daniel as a designer, she sees Daniel as this young guy who works hard for her. So mm -hmm. she comes in and she brings me snacks. Lots I mean, that's just a sweet thing. And you know mm -hmm. what? She brings a snack and I'm like, man, yeah, I gotta do some more work, with more color studies, because mm -hmm. I wanna see her succeed and I want her family to see that product mm -hmm. succeed. We've had tears, we've had yeah. fisticuffs, we've had a lot yeah. of laughs, yeah. a lot of late nights, a lot of hours. Let's check out some of Daniel and his team in action now. I want to take it to the point to where it, it does become maybe a form icon or functional icon of scrapbooking. From a design standpoint, everyone was gravitating towards this concept. We know we have to really promote this product and need to get out there. It needs to just not magically appear. It needs to be, have character um, and form. The great thing about your product is you have a lot of storage. 